Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims are happy to have this occasion to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children and to your loved ones who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. In our catechesis on the creed during this year of faith, we now consider the article which deals with Christ's ascension. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. St. Luke invites us to contemplate the mystery of the ascension in the light of the Lord's entire life and particularly his decision to ascend to Jerusalem to embrace his saving passion and death in obedience to the Father's will. Two aspects of Luke's account are significant. First, before returning to the glory of the Father, the risen Jesus blesses his disciples. Jesus thus appears as our eternal priest. True God and true man, he now forever makes intercession for us before the Father. Second, Luke tells us that the apostles returned to Jerusalem with great joy. They realize that the risen Lord, though no longer physically present, will always be with them guiding the life of the church until he returns in glory. As we contemplate the mystery of the ascension, may we too bear joyful witness to the Lord's resurrection, his loving presence in our midst, and the triumph of his kingdom of life, holiness, and love. Saluto cordialmente i presuli della Conferenza Episcopale d'Inghilterra e Galles. Assicurando loro la mia preghiera per il loro ministerio episcopale. Saluto inoltre i sacerdoti dell'Istituto di Formazione Teologica Permanente presso il Pontificio Collegio Americano del Nord. Su tutti i pellegrini di lingua inglese presenti all'odierna udienza, specialmente quelli provenienti da Inghilterra, Danimarca, Svezia, Australia, India, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Filippini, Canada e Stati Uniti, Invoco la gioia e la pace del Signore risorto. And now a translation into English of the Holy Father's greeting. I offer a cordial welcome to the members of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of England and Wales, and I assure them of my prayers for their Episcopal ministry. I also greet the priests of the Institute for Continuing Theological Education at the Pontifical North American College. Upon all the English-speaking visitors present at today's audience, including those from England, Denmark, Sweden, Australia, India, Singapore, Sri Lanka, the Philippines, Canada, and the United States, I invoke the joy and peace of the risen Lord.